This clip titled How to Mind Map is about the basics to get you started with mind mapping and it's brought to you by McGrossy Consultants. Mind mapping is a very visual way to capture your thoughts and ideas so that you can easily plan things, remember things and also take notes. It uses lots of colour and keywords so your brain is attracted to it. Mind mapping was invented by Tony Buzan and the term mind map is a registered trademark of the Buzan organisation. Mind mapping is used all over the world in both studying and business situations. To start your mind map, begin by putting an image in the centre of the page. This way it's really easy to tell what the subject of the mind map is. In this case, I'm making a mind map about a lady called Chrissy, so I've drawn a picture of her in the middle of the page to start. The next step is to add main branches which organise your ideas about your subject. So I'm doing a mind map about Chrissy and Chrissy's life. So the key branches I've used about her life are her children, her job, her husband Rich, her hobbies, where she lives, and then finally the last branch in the top left corner is her age. Now it's time to add more detail by adding smaller branches, keywords, pictures, and always using color. So if you look in the top right hand corner of the mind map, you can see more detail about the children. Then going around clockwise, you can see more branches added for each category. I'm not going to talk you through all of the details of this mind map, but what I want you to notice is that I've used pictures and keywords throughout, as well as lots of colour. Notice that the details are written on top of small branches which are connected back to the main branches so that there's, there are lines and curves that flow through connecting all of the details together. I've used single keywords and there are no cases where I've used any long sentences or long phrases. It's much easier for the brain to remember single keywords, especially when you use lots of colour and pictures. So to summarise, begin with a central image. Use colour throughout the whole mind map. Print the single keywords on the branches and make sure those branches are curvy because it looks more interesting and also connected to each other. Also use pictures throughout the whole mind map. Thanks for watching this clip about the basics of mind mapping. I'm soon going to be adding other clips which go into more details and provide other examples of how to mind map.